At Healthcare Partners Medical Group, our mission is to provide the highest quality of healthcare to each and every patient. With five locations in Pahrump, we are local doctors you know and trust. We want to thank you for choosing us. Quality care starts here. Pahrump Nugget, Progressive Cash Drawings, Mystery Point Multipliers, Mystery Gift Days, Extra Cash for Four of a Kind, Bingo Bowling Football and Food Specials. Looking for constant action? Look no further. Prompt Nugget Hotel and Casino. News 46 is brought to you by Affiliated Chiropractic and Affiliated Physical Therapy. Come in for your free consultation. Call 775-727-8900. Our goal is to create the individual treatment plan that will restore your health and end pain. And here's Nathan Hollenbeck with your Week in Sports. Here I am again with your weekend sports. Well, it was a big event for one of the most popular golfers known. And I'm talking about Tiger Woods. At Jack Nicklaus Memorial, Tiger Woods tied the one and only Jack Nicklaus with total wins of 73. Thing is, the days when Jack Nicklaus played, he had the best record of 73 and got it at age 46. Well, Tiger Woods is only 36, and he is now tied with Nicklaus in second place with 73 wins. Tiger Woods in the beginning of this tournament was behind by four, then he slowly surpassed the rest of the golfers to get the victory. And now I must ask, who missed the old Miami Heat? The old days with just Dwayne Wade as the star player. Well, yesterday was one of those days when the star players Chris Bosh and LeBron James both sat out. Chris Bosh was out due to an injury, and LeBron James was out, unfortunately, because he fouled out. With no James and Chris Bosh, it was back to Dwayne Wade's old heat days as he had the ball in his hands with the Celtics ahead 93-91 to as the clock ticked down. James helplessly watched from the other side of the floor as Wade's game-winning three-point attempt didn't save the day. And the Celtics tied the series 2-2. Two to -two. James received his sixth foul, an offensive one at that, in the post with a minute and 51 seconds left in overtime after getting tangled up and going to the ground with Michael Petris. James did mention that he doesn't foul out usually, and when he did, he was kind of shot. James had four offensive fouls Sunday, and the dec deciding whistle happened with Boston ahead 92-91. to Celtics fans roared at a fever pitch as James strolled to the bench. The series is tied 2-2, two two, and we will see with both teams what they can do later on tomorrow on Tuesday, June 5th. And also... NASCAR's uh, Bush behavior after Saturday's Nationwide Series race at Dover was in violation of his probation he was placed on after an incident last month at Darlington. Bush was fined $50,000 by NASCAR and placed on probation through July 25th for reckless driving on Pitt Road and a post-race altercation with Ryan Newman's crew members. And that's going to do it for this edition of your Week in Sports. I'm Nathan Albeck. Good night, Trump. So we had lots of wind today. Definitely, especially later on in the day. Yeah. It definitely got windy. And it looks like it might even get windier later, but we'll see more about that when we come back after the break with weather. News 46 weather is brought to you by Healthcare Partners Medical Group with five locations in Pahrump. Local doctors and professional staff providing total care from infancy to seniors. News 46 weather is also brought to you by your local dairy farmers. Dairy products are very important in maintaining a healthy body. For more information, you can visit their website at nevadadairycouncil.org. And welcome back, everyone. Today we had sunny skies. Our high was not in the triple digits. Almost everything required to have a nice day at this time of the year, except we did have those winds that were coming out of the south at 14, and our gusts were at 23 miles per hour. And it looks like it's going to continue into tomorrow, too, but we'll get into that in a second. Our pressure was at 29.82, and the UV index still is at 10, very high. Take all your precautions while outside. Humidity is at 13%, relatively low, as we do have a red flag warning in place today. And our sunrise was at 5.27 a.m. Today's record was 109 degrees back in 1996. Taking a look now at tonight, our low is going to be 63, but those winds are still going to be keeping us up. Southwest at 15 and the gusts at 29 miles per hour, even higher than today. Humidity is going up to 26%, which is good news. We might get out of that red flag warning. And our sunset is at 7.58 p.m. The record for tonight was 51 degrees back in 1943. 
looking at tomorrow we're going to have sunny skies and our high is going to go down back into the 80s. Can you believe that? We go from triple digits a couple days ago back down to 85. Low is going to be 56 degrees with our winds coming out of the west at 14. The gusts are going to remain in the 20s at 21 miles per hour and the humidity is going to go back to 13 percent. Our sunrise at 527 a.m. and that UV index is at 10 very high. Looking now at our seven day forecast, we're not seeing any triple digits as of yet, but the temperatures are going to increase after Wednesday. We're going to go starting Thursday, we're going to go to 93, then we go 99, back down to 96 on Saturday, then 94 on Sunday, then back up to 96 on Monday. So it is on a little bit of a roller coaster ride. As I said, those winds are going to continue into Tuesday, even looking like it's going to continue on Wednesday. There isn't at this point any signs of clouds, so that's a good thing. Our highest high right now is at 99 on Friday, and our lowest low at this point looks like it's going to be tomorrow at 56 degrees. And KPVM will be turning off the analog signal permanently on the 15th of June. Please get your converter boxes. Call KPVM TV at 727-9400, extension 209, for more information. The Perm Grange is proud to announce their first meeting for the Junior Grange at the Nye Community Coalition Building tomorrow night at 6 p.m. All are invited to come. So for fur further information, please call William Wood at 775-990-6329. And that's going to do it for this edition of News 46. I'm Zach Fuentes. And I'm Monique Murphy. We wish you a wonderful evening, and we'll see you here again tomorrow night. Till then, good night, Perm. Good night.